everyone glad to see you all myself sudarshan chemistry pgt acs kakrapa and my colleagues mr pb nandoli tgt science acs kakrapa mrs raksha pandya lab assistant department of chemistry acs kakrapa our today's experiment is one of the short experiments of class 11th practicals based on the ph the aim of the project is the aim of our today's uh, practical is to determine the ph of various fruit juices uh, or vegetable juices the question is naturally available fruits or the vegetables are slightly acidic or basic in the nature these weak acids or bases helps in maintaining the good health now how to find it to find that we are going to use one simple test called as a ph test ph is the word taken from the latin term potens dehydrogen means the power of hydrogen ion concentration it was introduced by p l sorensen and the ph formula is ph is equal to minus log of h plus ion which we define it negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration is known as a ph about this ph we are going to discuss in the theory in a detailed way in this today's practical what we need is what about the ph scale the ph scale will be having the limits 0 to 14 now if the ph of any substance is exactly 7 then we call it as a neutral and if ph of any substance is less than 7 it will be acidic in the nature and if it is more than 7 it will be basic in the nature there is further classification here i can have 3.5 if ph of any substance is less than 3.5 it will become strong acid and 3.5 to 7 less than 7 it will become weak acid 7 to 10.5 weak base and 10.5 to 14 it will be strong base now today's experiment requires we need certain test tubes we need glass rods we need watch glass and we need certain samples of fruit juices and vegetable juices ph paper how to do this now to perform this experiment collect the sample of juice of uh, any available fruits or the juices uh, we have taken five juices one is of uh, lemon second one is of uh, tomato third one is of uh, potato and the fourth one is uh, apple and the fifth one is uh, orange these were the available fruits and vegetable vegetables in the market now how to do this the procedure is take a glass rod take a drop of the juice of the vegetable or the fruit and put it on the ph paper now slowly observe the change in the color of the ph paper now that change in the color on the ph paper you have to compare with the reference ph paper in the reference ph paper you will be having the different colors and the approximate ph actually in the reference ph paper you will be having the ph 1 2 3 4 like that but here whatever it is available it is with 1 3 5 6 and 7 is the and just one drop of juice of the fruit or the vegetable on the paper and wait and uh, see the change in the color of uh, paper of the ph now if you slowly observe the change in the ph of the color of the ph paper you can notice this the lemon juice the ph of uh, color paper will be light brown based on this by with the reference value i can say this ph will be between 2 to 4 so it will be acidic in the nature second one tomato juice which i have taken 
the color obtained on the ph paper is a lightish yellow pink so it will be roughly the ph will be between 4 to 6 it is also acidic in the nature the third sample i have taken is potato juice the color appeared on the ph paper is a lightish yellow and approximate ph is 5 to 6 it is also acidic in the nature the fourth sample which i have taken is a very common fruit which we all use every day that is a apple juice apple juice the change in the ph paper color is a light to pink and approximate ph i can say for this is around 3 to 4 it is also acidic in the nature and the last sample which i have taken is full of vitamin c and it is called as a winter fruit that is a orange juice for that if you see the change in the color of the ph paper it is a light pink and the approximate ph we can say 3 to 4 and it is also acidic in the nature now you have to write your result by taking the name of the fruit and its nature this is not only useful for your practical it is useful in our day to day life what type of fruits we are taking and what is the use of such fruits for our health thank you very much and do it and enjoy